Let's go back outside. Now we've got ourselves the scanner, you guys. So now we can scan the sea glide fragment. Or scan ourselves. I'm like, yeah, we can not scan ourselves too, but scan this. Now, did I see another one? Oh, you need three of them. But I, of course, we've seen the grab trap somewhere nearby. We can scan this thing if we want, but, uh, or just break it with our heckin' scanner. Oh, yeah, here's a, here's another, uh, ski, ski glide. Ski, or, no, what? It, oh, it is. Kinda look weird from that angle. Let's see if we can find a third fragment. We have 15 seconds. There's more of that, uh, stuff right there. Oxygen. Yeah, let's go get ourselves some more oxygen. We found more of that, whatever it was called. <laughs> but I kinda wanna get that last bit of the sea glide scanned. So we could at least maybe start working on it here in a bit. Might as well grab the quartz while we're kind of out and about, just kind of going around. What if we're going to find any more of those Markiplier dolls bobbleheads? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a grab trap over here, which is always good. They will make some of the critters kind of like come towards the grab trap, and it makes it easier for you to harvest them. You don't have to go all over the place and chase them and stuff, so that's good. Is this it? There you go. Oh, yeah, I just need two of those. Oxygen. More oxygen. Yeah, I also want to make a... Uh, scuba tank, so I have more uh, oxygen, like, storage, I guess you could call it. There we go. Can I still scan myself? Maybe, just, maybe I can't do it in... I'm trying to scan myself with F, pressing F to pay your respects, but nope. And, oh, here we go. Is that a C? Yep, another Z-Glide right there. You got it. Or, we've got it, you guys. <laughs> Z-Glide fragment. Can I... Yep, precursor technology. That's what they're called. Yep. Ancient alien technology. And I can't get that stuff just yet. We are a little bit further away from the... Oh, there we go. There, There's creep vines right there. Can I... You need the seeds, I think, right? To make the silicone rubber. We're gonna need... We don't need to destroy it. We can just get the seeds, like, right out the bat, so we don't have to worry about that at all. So now we can make the survival knife. Now we can make the... Er, the something dip. No, no, these are still creep vines. Okay, I, I might as well scan them. Just because, hey, why not, right? But, uh, ba boom. There we go. Now, I need to get the creep seed things. But it's not letting me... I don't know how I'm getting the creep seeds without the, uh... Oh yeah, probably... I don't know. It's been a little while since i played. Uh, there's more quartz. A lot of quartz down here. Not bad. Let's grab some of that. But at least we found... Oxygen. The creep... Seed creep pines. Oh, there, there, there they are right there. Yeah, the little glowy bits right there. Yeah, I definitely want to go... Oh my god, we're almost dead. Out of oxygen! Oh! Oh my gosh, I almost just died right there. Sheesh. All right, let's go grab... Oh man, another grab trap thing right there. I should unlock it for us. Here we go, the glowing bits. These are the seeds. Let's grab them. There we go. More seeds, more seeds. Look at all these seeds. Holy. Pre-vine seed cluster. Not a cluster anymore. It's all heckin' gone, Ada. Yeah, I'll leave those other ones behind for now. Let's go scan that one grab trap that I saw just moments ago. As well as might as well get this thing just because they want out. Limestone junk. Titanium. Is that... No... Uh, I think that is, I think that's it right there. Yeah, let's go scan that thing and then immediately head up to the surface. Go get ourselves more oxygen. oxygen. Okay, never mind. We, we don't have enough time. Let's go get oxygen right now, and then we'll go back down and go scan it because we're like right under a glacier, so we can't go straight up to get oxygen. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Whoa, signal location. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold. I lost all my gear, and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency cache. Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. Could be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. Yeah, I've got, I've got the coordinates right now, so... 100-something. Well, 200 meters away right now, so... Shouldn't be too hard to go over there, but let's just go back to the base. Let's go make ourselves the... Oxygen. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading up out, upwards as well. Let's go make the survival knife, as well as see how close or how far away we are from making the sea glide, because that would be very, very helpful. As well as the scuba tank, or oxygen tank, or whatever you want to call it. That way we'll be able to hold more oxygen on us and not have to go up for water, or go up for oxygen quite as frequently. Anyways, let's go use the fabricatura. Let's go make, uh, not that, but, uh, silicone rubber. We're gonna need, uh, I think I already have the tools, and yep, there we go. Yep, we already have titanium in our inventory. And let's go see what all we can, what all we need. Fiber mesh, which is, which one was that again? Creep fine samples. So yeah, now we can go get the creep fine samples with the survival knife. And turn that into a, uh, I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled to see if we could actually find any of these creep vines. Anywhere closer to where uh, our 
life pod is right now, but not seeing it right now. I'm like, it is darker, so it's harder to see. But we do have a new location over here. I'm going to get put my scanner up just because I don't want to I can waste it. Okay, okay, see us go much? Well, let's go over here. Let's go grab some creep vines. Just got to go slice and dice these things, and we'll be good to go. Grab a few of these. There we go. Inventory full with only two. Yeah, I should probably have put up a little bit of the resources. Yeah, I've got... And there's that creature again. I want to stay away from that thing, even though it hasn't harmed us just yet. But I do want to steer, steer clear of it when possible. Let's go back to the base. I don't know if we need two fiber sheets or fiber mesh or whatever. Well, let's just go back and let's go turn this whatever creep find samples. <laughs> oh my god, that thing just crashed into our life pod. Definitely don't want that to happen. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we still can't. We, we could only have one in our inventory right now, I guess, right? So, anyways. Uh, oh, jeez, yeah, those seeds can take up a ton of inventory spaces. Golly! There you go. Uh, oh, I can't store anything else there. Does he spoil? Cold resistance. Resistance. 60 seconds. Indigenous seeds with high silicone and oil content. All right, well, how are these things doing? Decomposing. Okay, well, we might want to just throw out the other uh, fish fellows for now. Let's go grab some more creep vine samples, <laughs> as well as throw out these fishies, just because, uh, drop, yes, drop, drop, and drink the water, and then, uh, might want to make a grab trap, now that we, I think we unlocked it just a moment ago, right? So, might want to go see what all we're going to need to actually craft the grab trap, that way we can put outside and a bunch of fish are going to be attracted to our grab trap, and it's going to be a lot easier for us to capture all the fishies, and then, uh, I don't know, I don't know what all, yeah, we probably can't make a thermo blade for quite a while, I'm sure. Start heading up. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm heading up already. Well, anyways, let's go back. Let's go turn the, at least two of these into the fiber mesh. And then, uh, there we go. I think it was just one, right? And then we're going to need to see how much titanium we need to make the, yeah, two titanium. So I can also make a med kit, which I, uh, two titanium. Boom, boom. There we go. Uh, tool, no, equipment and or first aid kit, whatever. Guess we don't have one over here in this little thing, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, standard O2 tank. O2 mix compressed breathable air. I think this might give us another, like, 45 seconds, I think? Nope. 30 seconds. All right, not bad. Well, look at that. We got ourselves a beacon unlocked. Speaking of beacon, we do have the emergency supply cache over there. We might want to go investigate what's going on over there. See how, uh, what all we're going to need for these. We can cover one. We might be able to make the sea light, like, really, really quickly, you guys. Holy heck. Because we can make the lubricant, like, right now. I don't know how much of that. We, we just need one. Battery, we could do that, like, right now as well. We just need to go in the chest and uh, let's grab some more copper while we're here, too. Because I saw we need some of that, as well as two of these. And we can make a heckin' battery out of that. Boom. And then make a copper wire. And then maybe some titanium. And I think that's it, right? Let's go back to deployables. Yep, one titanium and we're good to go. We already have a sea glide, you guys. Holy heck. Let's go deployables and boom! I don't remember the sea glide. I'm like, it's, I had made a sea glide since like I can really early on in the series. So really, uh, I don't know where I put this thing. I, don't know, I think I put it there and I think scan was on five. I don't know, it's been a while. Uh, the creep vine things, they do uh, spoil. So I might as well turn them into silicone rubber or fiber mesh or whatever before they heck and spoil. I don't know if the seeds do or not, but might as well turn those into fiber mesh while we're kind of, I'm like, it does take up less inventory slots overall too. So that's great. Yeah, I think that's it, right? And, well, there's one right there. Oh, I could eat them too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, don't have to go throw them outside once we go outside, but whatever. Right now, oh, I accidentally put up the, there we go. Is there anything here I want to, uh, do we already have the, yep, we, uh, yep, we already automatically put that on. Tools. So we can get the repair tool now. I kind of want to get that thing, that thing, just because why not? Crystalline sulfur. That is like a really, d you can, uh, I don't know, maybe you get that earlier on now? Pathfinder tool. Yeah, I never used that thing. I don't, know, I don't think there's anything else there. Pipe. A chain of pipes that can be used to transport breathable air from a functional pump. Floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a stirring point for a pipe chain. I never did use those back in the day, so I kind of... That's, that's going to be brand new to me if I ever start using them, you know, but... For right now, let's just go through up all the quartz inside of... Uh, quartz that we can, at least. Uh, these do not spoil. I guess I could straight up eat the seed clusters for 10... Uh, H2O water, if I really need to, but for right now, we do need to, uh, I don't know, I, do I want to make an extra battery? Can I? Oh man, there's a thing right there, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Can I make an extra battery? What all do we need for that, though? Uh, just two ribbon plants? Uh, we could do that, like, right now, can't we? 
Yep, boom, boom, two rip a plant, like one copper ore. I just kind of want to make an extra battery just in case our sea glide ever, like, runs out of battery and we're, like, running away from heckin' who knows what. And we're almost dead or anything like that, you know, so. And let's break that and let's just get the old sea glide out. What in the world? There we go. Definitely want to turn off the lights and the, uh, whatever that other thing was called. Now we're oh, all the way over here, about 300 meters away. It's, it's not the furthest thing in the universe, you know? But at the same time, at least we'll get there a little bit quicker with the sea glide. And we have the extra oxygen of our oxygen tank, so that's great as well. I wonder if we have to go in some sort of cave or something. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, it's another thing I can scan. Let's scan. Precursor technology. Well, we do have an extra 30 seconds of oxygen, so we don't need to do it. Two out of 50. Golly. More of these things down here I can kind of move around with. And salt right there. That's good. Can I just grab that salt right there? 30 seconds. Yep, 30 seconds of oxygen. Let's grab ourselves some more oxygen while we're still able to, you know. There you go. Sheesh. I'm going to need to mess around with the graphical settings. Because I know the graphics aren't, like, smooth as heck right now. Oh, man. Whoa, that's, like, really close by. That's, like, a straight-up foundation and everything right here as well. Some salt. A couple things of salt over here. Might as well grab these because we need that to kind of make uh, salted fish and stuff. That way we could make uh, food that actually lasts for quite a while. Let's grab a few of those and another precursor alien orange. Let's go scan this thing. Seems like we have some creep mines over here as well, so that's great. We could probably uh, disassemble this thing if we had the uh, habitat builder or whatever, right? Open the data box. What's inside? High capacity O2 tank. That's great. New blueprint acquired. Now, is there anything actually physically inside of this thing that I can get? I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want to go, oh, jeez, what is that gigantic heggin creature? Titan whole fish. What? That is, yeah, I could probably swim through that. Is that possible? Can I swim through that? I, oh my god, I can actually swim the what? And replenish oxygen from, from this. Whoa, the Titan whole fish replenishes oxygen. That's great to know. All right, let's get, what's down here? I kind of want to get my knife out. Seems like, uh, oh my gosh, what in the world is that down there? Oh, that's the... I forgot, ah oh, man, I'm trying to remember the name, but I've seen it before. I kind of want to scan these, this thing, because it's... Oh, a blood, yeah, I remember the blood roots, yeah. These gigantic things. Uh, trying to remember. Yeah, you do get the... Oh, silver out. Oh, nice silver right there. Man, I'm trying to remember. It's been months since I played Subnautica. Generic, but oh wait, that's a different thing. That's completely different from some. It looks like something else, though. Okay, well, they didn't give that thing a proper name. They just gave it, like, the name and the code. Alright, 30 seconds of oxygen. Kind of want to continue grabbing some more resources here while we can. And remember, if we re Oh, jeez, hold on. See, I, I don't think this goes straight outside. Let's just go get on the sea glide. That's what I'm talking about. Emergency oxygen trip. Let's go! Hey, do Let's go! Oxygen. Grab some creeps. Oh, I can't grab them. Okay, whatever. <laughs> There we go. I was about to grab some of those creep seeds. I've got a lead for you. An alien sanctuary in the Twisty Bridges. 200 meters down. I need to go back to the research site. I can't let you. Why not? Boss's orders. We're trying to keep you alive. Only because salaries cost less than lawsuits. <laughs> Is that cynicism making you friends down there? Sure. They're just not human. The files are on your data bank. Do as you please. Just tell me what you find. And don't get me into trouble. Sanctuary Zero location data. Where is this? I'm going to have to look at my, uh, oh wait, nope. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, emergency supply thing. And there's a Titan hoop fish. Guess I can't actually go inside of this thing, but that thing did give me the information in order to craft a high capacity O2 tank, which is great. Because that's probably going to get our oxygen to like 100 something seconds instead of the, I think it's at, I think it's at 75 seconds right now? I don't know. Either way, where's this other one at? So that's the supply supply crate thing. I think we grab one of these things. I can't. Oh, where was it? Oh, there we go. Grab some of these. All right, and let's go back up. How's our bad hurt? Yeah, not ninety-one percent. Not that bad. Not that bad. Now we're going to need a look at the PDA here in just a moment. I think uh, I might want to eat these just because. Hey, why not uh, consume? Yes, get our oxygen up. There we go. Not or uh, didn't get our. I'm still getting them mixed up. Well, anyways, where is the, uh, signal emergency crate thing? Blah, 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 data bank. Alien data. Precursor bounty. Gain rewards for precursor technology. Altera, site zero. There we go. 
So this is just information about Site Zero. Is that? I think that's where we were. That was where we started out. I think right. Site Zero. During their occupation of 4546B, the mysterious race of space-faring aliens we refer to as the Almanac selected a number of sites around the planet at which to build their vast facilities. While the focus of their mission to save their kind from the bacterium was the Emperor specimen contained at the primary containment facility, their other installations served a variety of precautionary and support roles. Research Site Zero, unknown alien facility. While Zero Sector contains a number of now familiar alien sanctuaries, the alien facility in close proximity to the main research station remains one of the few whose purpose we have yet to discover. This will be the focus of our endeavors in Zero Sector. Yeah, that's the one that started talking to me, I think, right? Anyways, what we know. Frozen beneath the ice hundreds of years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We have progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber, where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever is inside, it is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have encountered. Ooh, probably more ancient alien technology. Weekly report, Research Base Zero, Week 26, Staff Robin Goodall, Zero Linguist, and Joe Jeffries, Technician, TBC Support. Followed by Robin Goodall, blah, 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 blah. There's some more random stuff you could read right there, I suppose. Sanctuary Zero Location Data. So, this might have been one of the things we just got, I think. I don't know. Sanctuary Zero was discovered some months ago, operating on the... Oh, jeez. What? What was that? Ancient aliens pulling my foot down. Oh, how spooky. Oh. Anyways, back to Sanctuary Zero location data. Sanctuary Zero was discovered some months ago, operating on low power. All attempts to access the facility have failed. It is located in the so-called Twisty Bridges, an area dense with macroflora, reaching 100 meters to 300 meters in depth. The fast growth of the tubular organic bridges throughout the area prevents a permanent route to the facility from being established. It can be located at a depth of 200 meters, and contractors are advised to use visual reference to locate a viable path. The alien architects constructed multiple sanctuary facilities around 4546B. Their purpose was to store and preserve the aliens' mental states for later retrieval in case of emergency, while many individuals fled to these sanctuaries when the Kara contagion was released. Most succumbed before they could reach one. One of those sanctuaries we have gained access to. None have contained a viable alien consciousness, and it is further unclear what sense could be made of the data if they had. Whoa. Alright, well, I think that might be it for that. Arctic Survival Guide. Employees working on the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions for their safety. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. Alright, hot springs, that's pretty cool. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch. A toasty hot beverage always feels good when working in sub-zero conditions. <laughs> Always dress appropriately for the mission. Investing in an Altera cold suit is certain to pay dividends where your survival is concerned. Remember, when in doubt, don't go out. <laughs> Start here. Alright, we've, we've got more stuff there. Indigenous life forms. Yeah, we've got flora and fauna and stuff over here. We could read about those later, but for right now, kind of want to get out and uh, maybe head back to the base or something like that. See what else we could uh, kind of craft and stuff. Well, anyways, grab some more resources while we're out here, and while we actually have the inventory space. What about, I, I really don't know what, I don't know, should I scan it? Should I scan the creature? What? Oh, jeez, is it trying to, mm -hmm. getting some pretty good scanning on it. Okay, well, we can read about that thing later. It seems like it might be somewhat neutral. It had, we're like, basically right next to it, it hasn't shred up heck and killed us, so that's good. We have the gigantic hoop fish thing over here, though. Oh, oh there's multiple. And there's a biter, probably? I don't know. Replenish oxygen. That's good. Let's keep going. That way is the base. I don't want to grab more salt while we're here. Of course, we do need that in order to make salted food, which, of course, lasts a lot longer. It doesn't spoil quite as fast as the regular cooked food we made earlier and had to throw out, so... Also, grab some more of it while we're actually... Uh, oh, yeah, here's another grav trap. that I don't remember if we had 100% on this yet. If not, it'll give us, yep, it'll give us titanium, so that's good. So we can go back home to the base, make the grab trap, just because, hey, why not? And there's another sea glide right there. So we can go scan that thing, get a little bit more of the titanium too. Just like we did with that grab trap. So there we go. And might as well get, look at all the heckin' quartz we're getting all over the place though, that's crazy. Alright, oh, violet bow. So we can scan these things too. Scan that. 
Violet bow. There are a lot of things we can scan, you guys. Great vines, I already have those scanned, so don't need to scan them again. Where in the world is the... Oh, there it is over there. Alright, well, we have 30 seconds of oxygen. You could probably make it back to the base here and just... Ah, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna risk it. Oxygen. I know, I know. Oh! Back above the water. Let's just, let's just swim down there. Don't, don't need to, don't need to waste our energy. Don't need to waste our battery. Uh, you gonna get anything from this? I don't know. You think I would, but I'm not getting anything. Okay, whatever. All right, well let's get back to our base for right now. And there we go. Oh, geez, we're inside now. Okay, that's good. All right, is there anything here I can? Oh yeah, probably should have grabbed some fish. Well, I guess I can. Uh, where's the crap? Oh, there's the crab trap right there. Okay. Well, we already have a battery. I don't know if I want to use one of those batteries right now, but might as well if we're going to make the crab trap. But, yeah, let's do it. That way we can get fish just kind of passively. You know, kind of trap them all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, we can't get that right now. So we need to put up some of this stuff. There we go. Might as well eat the uh, creep vine cluster thing. Get my ox or my water up. I keep on messing it up. <laughs> I need to throw out that creep vine thing too. Let's go outside. Let's go uh, just kind of throw this thing outside. Uh, sure, right here. Why not? Boom! Now the grab trap is going to be, uh... Yeah, look at that. Sucking in all the creatures. So we can pick up these little boomerang creatures a little bit easier. and They're not going to escape as well as the Arctic Peepers. Let's see if we can get any of the... Uh, what are they called? Bladderfish. Maybe we can get some of the bladderfish here, too. Creature yeah, I remember that thing. It was called an eye eye. Hey, <laughs> I completely remembered it. Hoop fish. More peepers. Of course, a cloud. I wonder how these peepers fare against the regular peepers we've seen in the past. Now, what's that thing gonna do? Is that thing actually chasing me? It seems like it is. And I will defend myself if you even try. Yeah, you better get away, sheesh. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the side of our base over here. Let's go turn some of these into, I'm already hearing another critter outside, that's good. <laughs> turn into salted versions of, uh, where's the Arctic peeper? There we go. I don't know which one's the best, but the eye eye don't want to salt that one because that one's basically mostly heckin' water anyways because it's a giant eyeball. Cured boomerang. And we can do the same thing for peeper hoop fish. Sure, why not? And I didn't get any of the bladder fish there, so that kind of sucks. But for right now, just so we don't use any of the, uh, shirt. High influence, low calorie count, hard to keep down. I don't care, might as well. I, don't, I just don't want to make a salted version of it. There we go. I only got one of them. Okay, whatever. Well, let's cook some of these that we can just eat right now. I don't want to need to. Don't need to store away for later or anything like that, you know. But there we go. And we can get rid of that emergency supply crate beacon thing if we really want to here in just a bit because we don't need to go back there at least for right now. Uh, cured? No, cured, cured. Where's the cooked? Here we go, cooked. So that one's plus thirty-two food. Nice. And this one's plus eighteen. Not that bad. Cooked I even gives you some uh, some water. Almost that oxygen right there. <laughs> Cooked Arctic Peter Peeper Peeper, not Peter. <laughs> Peter Pan. Alright, let's eat that thing. Alright, doing pretty well right now. So all I need is the uh more hoop fish over here. Hey, why not? Oh, I just picked up the uh the grab trap thing. Put it back down. Uh there we go. Alright, put that right there. Alright. Oh! Let's grab more creatures. Still no bladder fish though. I don't know what happened to all the bladder fish. We need bladder fish. I guess if anything, if we really need the oxygen, we could probably just uh get some of the creep seed things. Anyways, I do want to go down here. Somewhere down here, we saw some of those those things. And here's another seagull item. I might as well scan that thing. Just kind of, don't scan it with a fish. <laughs> scan that thing. Get a little bit of titanium as well as another crab trap right there. Hey. So we've only ever seen the the sea glide and, the, and another one right there. Another one. We've only ever seen the crab trap and the sea glide as, as of yet. Uh, I wonder if we're going to find any more around here that we can actually scan. And then, of course, crap later. There's another crab trap right there. Scan that bad boy, get ourselves tons of titanium. Hashtag tons of titanium. All right, let's get out of here. I haven't seen the other uh, thing I'm actually looking for. A little. I forgot what they're called, but the thing we need for the batteries, I right, I, I think, right? Kind of want to have an extra battery on me at all times, just in case anything ever does run out of oxygen. Remember, we don't have battery chargers just yet. Of course, we might as well scan some of these things. Red wart. That looks kind of weird, polygonal looking. There you go. Anything else around here we can scan? Tons and tons of heckin', uh. Oh yeah, we can make a flashlight too. I guess we can make a flashlight here in a bit if we really need to with that extra battery. We'll just keep it as an extra battery, I don't know. So far, I, I am not seeing that thing. I don't know where it is. I might have gone a completely different direction. <laughs> not too hard to believe that, right? But over, yeah, over here is where we saw one or two or three or so of them. I know I could turn a light on for this thing, but that of course will use more energy and 
If I don't need to use more energy, then why do? Ah, oh, it's just two craft traps like right next to each other. Sheesh. Thirty seconds. Inventory is probably going to be full. Tight. Yeah, it's already full. Sheesh. All right, don't scan these then. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be our scrap metal now. There's just grab traps all over the hanging place, right? Golly. <laughs> ah, man, just a, there's another sea glide right there. I see you too. Oh man, I'm already. Oh no, I no wish. Uh, how do I get up to the surface for these guys? Though I want to. I want to scan these little penguin creatures. I don't know if I can yet. I kind of want to get a little bit closer to- Oh, peng- What? Peng- Penguin. Penguin. Oh my gosh. Scan it. It's going to be my new pet. Penguin. <laughs> oh, I love the name. Any more of those things? I'm not seeing any right now. I'm hearing creatures. I do want to steer clear of them though. Oh, bladderfish. Bladderfish, grab it! Inventory full, no! Man! Another sea glide right there, sheesh. As if I don't have enough of those. <laughs> Alright, 100 meters away from our base. I think it might be a great place, great time for us to leave off. I can just go back to the... Uh, oh man, we're like right next to a sheesh. Yeah, I'm always surprised by that, golly. Only that we have a few... Oh man, it's basically feeding that thing. It keeps on eating all the fish that are around here. Maybe I should kill you, huh? Anyways, this is going to be a great place for us to leave off episode 2 or whatever this is by now. And of course, as time goes on, we're going to progress more here in Subnautica Below Zero. Early access, by the way. You can see it on the top right. Early access. Are a few bugs here and there and even a few graphical glitches we've already run into. So it's not a full release of the game. And like I've said back whenever Subnautica ended, whenever there is a full release of Subnautica Below Zero, then of course I'll make another playthrough of the full release. That way... We can kind of get a taste for some Nautica Below Zero early access and then get a taste for the full release once it actually fully comes out. Uh, who knows when that's going to be? A few months? A few years? Who knows? I guess only time will tell. But for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. I don't know why I still haven't dropped this heckin' giant rotten creep vine thing yet, but hey, there we go. <laughs> but that'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until well then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Subnautica Below Zero Early Access. Oh, bye there.